Thank you for joining us on Tech Talks. Today I have Tunde of Rent Small Small, a company that is helping tenants and landlords connect with each other. Tunde, welcome to Tech Talks. Thanks for having me. So, Rent Small Small, what is it about? And tell us the story of how it started. So, um, as the name implies, Rent Small Small. So, we're helping Nigerians to pay their rent flexibly, or primarily monthly. Um, and I mean, this all started when I moved back to Nigeria in 2015. I haven't lived outside of Nigeria for over a decade. And in the bid to get uh, a place of my own, you know, to rent, I realized that, you know, I had to pay upfront one year, two years upfront. And I wasn't used to that. So I was like, how, how are people going to survive, especially young professionals in a country, you know, where it, a lot of things are difficult already. You know, um, I, I just, I mean, from my own experience, I knew how it allowed me to gain so much ground in so many things I was doing just by being able to pay my, my rent as I earned. So I knew I needed to do something about it. You know, my background, before I moved back, uh, I had successfully run a, a real estate company, you know, in Thailand, you know, in Bangkok. And moving back, I wanted to do more in real estate. Development was what I had in mind. But when I moved back and I saw that problem, I couldn't move away from it. I knew I, I, I needed to tackle it, you know, and that, that was how we, we started. And we also knew right from the onset that if we were going to do it, we needed to be innovative about it. We needed to drive it uh, with technology and we needed to just move away completely from the traditional way of, of renting in Nigeria. Now, I've been to the website and it looks very nice. But of course, there was, I mean, there's a journey to get in there and it couldn't have been um, easy. We have to build a website, but not only that, you also have to connect with land owner, owners of properties, which is actually the biggest challenge. So how did you manage to achieve this? So uh, it's funny in the sense that when we were starting, I mean, everybody was just saying to me, uh, no landlord in Nigeria is going to collect their money monthly, you know, and that was almost going to, you know, make me pull back. But, I mean, when you, are, when you know that something can be done and you, you just have to ask yourself, what do I need to do, you know, to make it attractive or appealing to landlord, you know, and that's what we, you know, we, I sat with my co-founder and we said, okay, what are the problems landlords are having in Nigeria? Um, one of it is even on um, people paying their year, um, rent upfront, they still default. And default is actually very high in, in Lagos. I mean, we from also the information we got that on other parts of Nigeria it's even higher than Lagos. You know, people paying their rent first year upfront. You know, and then afterward not being able to pay. Because when you look at that system, you see that a lot of people that pay their first year upfront, um, they don't really don't look at how much they earn um, monthly. They don't do the accumulation, uh, accumulative, um, you know, budgeting that, okay, I earn monthly, how much does my money come to in a year? They just look at, okay, what is convenient? What is comfort of, what is comfortable for me? So they make decision blindly. And that's why they will say, okay, I have the first year rent, I, I'm good. So when the next year rent is due, I should have saved up or I should have the means to pay the next year rent. So it's, you are going into a transaction blindly. And a lot of landlords don't know this. They just, they also get caught up in that, oh, I've collected one year, so I'm safe. The next year, I'll be fine as well. And that's why they end up, the cost of getting a tenant out that could not afford to pay for the next year rent, it's the landlord gets to now carry huge expenses. You know, that is even one. The tenant will stay in the house because the tenancy law allows the ten, um, six months quit notice before you can even evict the tenant. So by the time the landlord puts all of that together, you realize that you've actually lost more than you, you collected on the first year rent. Yeah? And, and aside that, we also ask ourselves, what can we give landlord beyond just allowing you know, this flexible payment? We, one of it was rent insurance. You know, um, I mean, for us, that was- I was going to ask you about that. So that's one of the value propositions yes, so our for value the landlords. Pro yes, exactly. So the rent insurance covers like, um, job loss, critical illness, accidents, and death, you know, and beyond that also we, we do a very strong verification process um, that we take the tenants to, you know, where are you working, how much are you earning, uh, we believe the system can guide the whole culture of paying rent upfront. So someone should be able to say, oh, this is how much I'm earning, this is how much I should pay. So if you're earning 250, you should not pay more than 30% of that as rent. 
you know um once you go beyond that it's it eats a lot of other things you won't be able to have money to probably eat well you don't have money to maybe take care of day-to-day -day expenses and that's why you realize that people they are living you know in in they are under living i think that's the best way to put it so we package the value proposition for the landlord and that has really helped to get um, a lot of landlords on board um so we meet landlords that tell us that okay i don't really don't want to do this you know i collect my money up front and that's fine we ask them you know what try this just give us one of the, one property let's start with that and they say okay let me try you guys this and we have such landlord that started with one and now have 13 properties with us we have landlord that started with one has 35 units with us you know and that's just been the journey and the ones that outrightly said no you know um, we initially they've come back to us also and said you know what i'm having challenges because we sold the value right from the beginning but they still and they continue to get in that you know vibe of, of having tenants that defaulted so they will call us afterward and say you know what guys i want to try you, you out come come on board come on, i have 10 units but you can start with two and that's just been the journey for us and uh, we continue to grow with that and what's the gender mix is it predominantly male or do you have us you have female female uh, yeah we have uh, just i, I think uh, female is about 62 so a yeah. higher proportion and why is that why have you been successful with why do you think you've been successful with a higher proportion of female which is quite uh, i think rare. a lot is changing in in this time and age and i always say that um i mean a lot of young people are, are more independent you know they want to live on their own um they want to improve their productivity and they want to improve their livelihood as well and like there's a saying that say um everything begins from home you know so home now they even our what we call home now is changing home is not when you're under your father and mother's roof you know home is my own space i guess yes i guess also people want to go beyond their lo locality and yeah, they find yeah, a place exactly. so one of the reasons why you have a higher 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 proportion of women is that verification process that just guarantees a bit of security and trust in terms of who they're dealing with and that is what um, women would prefer because they're not in terms of this kind of living by yourself they're probably more risk averse than men are and yeah yeah I, I agree so. i agree and other things we've also because we want to dissect and you know break away from a lot of things you know um we have landlords that will say oh i don't want yoruba i don't want Igbo. we don't even take any landlord that comes with such we don't take them fantastic and we've said no to many you know, uh, I only want you, but right from there, we cut the communication with them. Um, we have landlords that say, oh, I don't want a single lady. So for, for such landlord, we engage them and why? Why, exactly. Uh, um, immediately they tell us why we give them a new, a different perspective, you know, and we also take them through that. This is our process. And once they get it, they'll say, okay, I'm leaving to you guys, do your job. And so there's a lot we are changing. And we believe that, you know, five years from now, this will be the, the standard monthly payments in nigeria in fact it will, people will even to to hear someone paying their rent up front we almost it sounds like are you stupid you know how are you funding this i mean uh, um i mean we bootstrapped uh, yeah, we we boost boost yeah, yeah the first before we actually launched officially we had a, 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 a testing period where we put a lot of our funds into it and just as we were about to launch officially uh, we had angel investors uh, we had about two angel investors um, but we just commenced our seed you know um, funding actually um, which was just last week so um, we want I mean there's just so much room for growth um, they we, we are data driven so we have the data looking at us on a daily basis and we need to take steps and that's why we are um, going into the next funding round so that we can you know take it to the next level and put more people um, give them a good roof over their head so that they can be more productive um, they can, when people are productive young professionals are productive then it's a be benefit to the country as well because our economy will grow you know people the quality of life will improve today thank you very much for coming on tech talks it was an interesting conversation and we will continue the conversation offline <laughs>